Hey everybody, this is Richard and I'm here to talk to you about the sales workflow in Fulcrum. We'll begin on the customer's grid. This is a list of all of your customers in Fulcrum. Their name, their salesperson, their pricing tiers, their location, and their status as a customer. If I go into one of these customers specifically, you'll see their customer details, their addresses, contacts, and shipping accounts. We also have a list of their historical quotes and sales orders underneath this associated records tab, which makes it really easy to figure out what work we've done for them in the past. Once we have our customer established, we can navigate over to our quotes grid. Now this is a grid of all of the quotes that you have in Fulcrum, and you can easily filter for different statuses of your quotes, including open status, draft status, send status. So it's really easy to see where things stand as they go throughout the sales order creation process. Now if I filter for all, and let's hop into one of these quotes here. Now on this quote, you can see two different line items that have been populated, a Mars Rover and a navigation board. If I click into one of these line items, you can see the associated file attachments quickly and easily. You can see the pricing that's been established for this item, including any price breaks. You can also adjust the bill of material and routing directly from the quotes page. That means that I can add things to the bill of materials. I can adjust timing on my operation. And when I do that, it will be specific to this item on this quote and that will update my cost breakdown here, it makes it really easy to price my items effectively. Now, once I have my bill of material and routing established, I wanna know when I'm going to be able to get this quote out the door and ensure that the customer has it in a timely fashion. And so what I can do is I can actually click this calculate button and it will look at all of my existing schedule and all of my existing jobs and depending on the priority in which I set this quote at, it will tell me when I can get these products completed on the production floor. And it's a super helpful tool to ensure that the communication between you and your customers is solid. Once I have my timeline established, my bill of material established, and everything set, I can jump into my preview and see my quote PDF. And I can actually email that directly from Fulcrum using our email template process. I'm gonna email this out to the customer. They respond back to me. We are good to go. We have won this quote. We're gonna send it into production. And so we'll actually move this quote into the one status. When we do that, we start generating this list of associated records. Now you can see here that this sales order has been generated off of this quote. This is really helpful because if a customer calls and asks about a specific order, I can come to this associated records field and I can see where things stand in the process. Now I can link to this sales order directly from this page, making it really easy to jump over to the sales order, or I can navigate to the sales order grid. Now the sales order grid is a list of all of the sales orders in Fulcrum, similar to the quotes grid, and you can easily filter uh, on different statuses for your sales orders. Now let's jump into one of these sales orders and you can see here that we have our line item. If we want, we can jump into this line item and we can add discounts. We can change the pricing. We can change the quantity. There's a lot of flexibility that comes with going from a quote to a sales order. Now, when you have determined that everything looks good on the sales order, you can put it into production which means that you can start generating jobs on this sales order. You'll start having shipping records that are populated off of this sales order. And again, this associated records list starts growing and growing and growing. And that web of data that you have in Fulcrum becomes really accessible. And to see how the different steps in the production process take place, check out some of our other workflows.